The Amazon documentary All or Nothing will begin with the Pochettino sacking. All of the transfer news. Will the summer events and concerts go ahead at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? And club legend David Ginola believes that Tottenham reaching the Champions League final was the worst thing to happen to the club. Welcome back to another video. So I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham related news over the last 24 hours, starting with, of course, Tottenham were meant to be playing Manchester United today at half past four at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I visited the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium earlier today. Of course, the uh, on the electronic boards, it says matches postponed, Manchester United at home and West Ham United at home. Um, down the Tottenham High Road, I noticed a number of banners have been installed, um, inserted there, down there, um, stating that Tottenham are hosting Guns N' Roses concert on the 29th of May and the 30th of May. Um, that is now going to be under threat. If, Tottenham, if Tottenham's Premier League season goes in to May or even June, then these events will be under threat. The COVID-19 problem leaves Spurs facing a very tricky summer indeed because, of course, Anthony Joshua, the boxer, his boxing match is meant to be in June as well, as well as Tottenham booking in all of these music concerts as well throughout the summer. So it could leave Tottenham in a tricky situation if Tottenham have still got to play Premier League games clashing with these dates. Next up, dreadful news, this one, very, very sad to read. The Daily Mail published an article earlier today stating that four men armed with machetes broke into Jan Vertonghen's house while he was away for Tottenham's game against RB Leipzig in Germany. Um, the defender's wife and his two young children were at home when the balaclava uh, men entered the property at around 8pm on Tuesday, which of course Tottenham were playing during this time. Um, a police investigation is underway following the incident on the 10th of March. No arrests have been made yet. Um, the police... Uh, a spokesman from the police said police were called to a residential address in NW3 London to report a burglary. It was reported four men wearing balaclavas, armed with knives, had forced entry to the property and stolen a number of items before leaving. Nobody was injured. There has been no arrests made and inquiries continue. So the Tottenham v Manchester United game was meant to go ahead today, 4.30 kickoff in the Premier League. Just a bit of fun this, please put in the comments section below what is your favourite Premier League memory of Tottenham playing Manchester United. If I was to choose a couple, um, Ericsson in the first 10 seconds or so at Wembley when we won the game, uh, another one at White Hart Lane when we won 3-0, Eric Lamella scoring, and then of course the final day at White Hart Lane when Tottenham beat Manchester United 2-1. Anyway, put, put all of your comments, all of your thoughts and all of your memories in the comments section below. A bit of transfer news. The Sun newspaper have today reported that Tottenham have their eye on Queen's Park Rangers star, Abire Eze. Top scout Brian Carey saw the midfielder, who is 21, in dazzling form in their 3-1 win at Preston last Saturday. Spurs are now emerging as clear favourites to nab him. QPR want around £20 million and that price tag has already put off the likes of Sheffield United and Crystal Palace. Now, Abire Eze, we were linked with him very heavily in the summer. Of course, it didn't happen when Pochettino was manager. Um, as I say, we've been linked with him many, many times. If you remember how many times we were linked with signing uh, a player like Ryan Sessegnon before the deal actually went through, um, I'm sure that this is a goer because... We have been tracking him for a very, very long time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If Spurs were to sign a BRA Eze, how would you feel? As I mentioned in yesterday's Tottenham News video, Tottenham are again linked with Chelsea winger Willian. Now, former Sunderland striker Kevin Phillips has claimed that Chelsea winger Willian would be a good addition to the Tottenham squad. Speaking to the Football Insider, he said, 
Willian is a player that I like. I think he's got a lot of great quality and a lot of great attributes. At the end of the day, it's whether he fits into Mourinho's style and where he plays. Mourinho generally plays a 4-2-3-1, so you could certainly see Willian playing on the left or right and giving them a little bit of quality. For me, he's still got plenty to offer in the Premier League, and if Tottenham were to secure his services, I think it would be a good signing. Now, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. If Willian turned up in the summer, our first summer signing um, this well, for next season, how would you feel about it? And how would you feel about seeing Willian wearing a Tottenham shirt? Tottenham Hotspur club legend David Ginola has been talking to the Daily Mail and he believes that Spurs reaching the Champions League final was the worst thing that could have happened to the club. Um, he said, I think the worst case scenario for Tottenham was to play in the Champions League final last year. I mean, it was great for the fans, great for the club, great for everyone at the club, but it put them on a stage where they weren't ready to be there. You think of other clubs who have been there year in, year out for the last four years, then suddenly Tottenham come out and play in the final against Liverpool. That makes you a team people are going to watch and come to expect great things from. Another article put out by the Daily Mail in the last 24 hours and they are stating that Tottenham's Amazon documentary will begin with the club's brutal sacking of Maurizio Pochettino. The North London club will feature on the latest series of behind the scenes documentary called All or Nothing. Um, and according to the Daily Mail, Pochettino's sacking in November will feature heavily in the show. Of course, Jose Mourinho took over as manager the day after Pochettino was dismissed. And the Amazon cameras reportedly caught the whole of the, uh, the first day of Jose Mourinho arriving um, and, and taking charge. How do you feel as a Tottenham fan with this Amazon documentary going out? Are you excited to see it? Do you want to see it? Are you even going to watch it? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. Former Tottenham midfielder Jermaine Jenis states that he is not a big fan of Jose Mourinho at the moment. Speaking on Match of the Day Extra, he said... Uh, he thinks that Mourinho is too negative at the moment. It is not a rant, but what I will say is I will reserve judgment on Jose until the summer, until he brings in his new players, because I think the players haven't been good enough. What I don't like about Jose at the minute is his negativity. I think he's been far too negative in terms of the message he's been sending out to the players. I know we've got Injuries to Kane, I know Son's injured and now Steven Bergvine, but I think there needs to be a more positive structure going out to the players. Now let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you think that Jermaine Jenis has got a point? Do you agree with him or do you disagree? How do you think that uh, Mourinho will turn Tottenham around in the summer? Do you think that he will have a lot of money to spend? Do you think that Daniel Levy will give him a good transfer budget in the summer to bring in uh, new talent? A report has come out today about our former midfielder Christian Eriksen, who of course left the club in the January transfer market for Inter Milan. He has been forced to find new accommodation in Italy after his hotel was shut down because of the coronavirus pandemic. The Danish international was still house hunting in Milan when the country was thrown into chaos by the outbreak of the deadly bug. Today is the 15th of March 2020 and today our former midfielder Sandro celebrates his 31st birthday. Please let me know all of your thoughts and your memories of Sandro in the comments section below. Another report has come out by the Daily Mail and they are stating that Chelsea and Spurs are reportedly in the hunt for Bournemouth goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale. The Daily Mail are claiming that Frank Lampard and Jose Mourinho are both considering placing their number ones this summer. Now, if Ramsdale was to sign for Spurs, how would you feel about it? Is he good enough to be Tottenham's number one? Thanks for watching today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you again soon, as soon as there is any more Tottenham news. Come on, you Spurs.
Just before you go, just to let you know that the nominations are now open for the Football Content Awards 2020. The event will be held in May at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. What a fantastic venue to hold such an event. I was very, very lucky to win the award last year for the best club content creator. So thank you very much for everyone who voted. I really, really appreciate it. It was a, a dream come true to win this at the Etihad Stadium. Um, if you would like to vote, all of the details are below in the comments section and the description section as well. All of the links and all of the details. You can either vote on their website uh, through Instagram or on Twitter, but all of the details are below. And you just hashtag um, best club creator or best content creator. So thank you very much for all your support. And all of the nominations uh, close on midnight on the 31st of March. Come on, you Spurs.